a high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Welcome again to another episode of the Raven's Den Vlog Radio Show. I'm your host, Reverend Raven Nightclaw HP. Uh, the HP does stand for High Priest, for those that don't know it. So, what is going to be today's subject? <laughs> I'll tell you. I've been wanting to discuss authenticity, self-love, gratitude, and haters. Yes, I will repeat it. Authenticity, self-love, gratitude, and haters. Okay. So let's talk a little bit, right? Now, Authenticity. What is authenticity? Being authentic in a nutshell is being your one collective absolute true self. Now, there are, <laughs> I'd say, laws, principles, if you will, that can explain these more in depth. But how are you, how are you going to be your authentic self? Well, You actually have to pick and choose willingly and accept what you've chosen openly when it comes to how you are going to live your life, right? Interestingly enough, there are going to be as, whoops, excuse me a minute, as you live your life, as things change, as your journey moves in the direction that it should, there are going to be a great deal of changes. Now these changes could be minimal. These changes could be quite magnified or let's just say challenging <laughs> the challenges are challenging um, that's totally obvious now what's not obvious at times is that we as human beings at times I even myself have found my myself doing this is attempting to first create an environment that is conducive to fluidity, balance, harmony. But what is all that? Well, it's just one extreme that has another side to it, right? So you're probably thinking, hmm, what does he mean? Well, where do we usually find balance? We usually find balance when we are attempt to create it within chaos or consistent routine or you know things that we choose a lot, a lot of this uh, I've, I hear a lot of this and let me explain I, I hear the words I don't have a choice or I didn't have a choice or I have no choice. 
If I had a giant stop sign or one of those giant, you know, foam hands that has the middle finger, okay, that's what I would be showing on this camera because that would be a lie. All of us have a choice, but the thing is, is that more times than most, we choose to avoid avoid chaos okay we choose to avoid confrontation because it, it creates disqualified energy right but some not all some of these practices are healthy you know some people actually say that um, you know, having arguments in a relationship are healthy. Well, what is an actual argument? Whether it's, you know, with your partner or friends, family, even total strangers. Uh, usually, um, the argument is created because of a disagreement or a disbelief of someone else's truths and or opinions. So, with this being said, what do we do? Well, let me explain. So let's say for an example, someone questions your motives or questions the way that you are doing whatever it is that you're doing in life right I mean each one of us has our own vices each one of us has our own ways of you know dealing with uh, circumstances and situations in life but most people are afraid to lose people close to them if they attempt to become their authentic self. Now, I personally say, fuck them. Okay? No matter who they are. Okay? Um, it could be friends, family, co-workers, bosses, total strangers, whatever. The fact is, is that your truth, you have to be strong enough in your mind and in your convictions, your integrity, as well as your belief okay, within yourself, that you are not going to allow anyone to sway you. A lot of the times we allow our loved ones to change or redirect our choices based on their own personal desires or needs. Now, I'm not saying that at times those choices are wrong or right. What I am saying is they are choices nonetheless. Each choice has its own consequence, whether it's good or bad. Okay? Now, on top of that, I mean, we can even go on and on with the, you know, the five Reiki principles, the seven hermetic laws. You know, we can even talk about the hundred and whatever it is. I forgot off the top of my head. I think it was like 147, 167, or 65, you know, rules, basically, uh, you know, the golden rules and regulations of witchcraft. I mean, we could talk about the witch's Bible. We could talk days and days and days upon these writings that have given us a way to live in some way, shape, or form. The influences of others accepted, accepted, can in fact hinder progress. Or it can actually create it. Okay, it can also create opportunities as well. 
However, again, it boils all the way down to that number one thing, which is choice, right? So, all we have to do is make a decision. So, your decision, let's say for an example, and I'm, I'm going to not say names, I'm not going to put people out there, I don't do that. Someone I know, you know, later, not too later, but later on, later in her years, um, is now taking a different approach to a spiritual lifestyle because of influences by her family. Her family doesn't believe in living spiritually. They do believe in things like healing, you know, stuff like that, as well as, you know, regular traditionary, you know, religious beliefs. Um, but when it comes to anything else, um, you know, quantum healing or, uh, you know, interdimensional, sur you know, soul surgery, you know, soul retrievals, you know, all these DNA activations and all this stuff, um, they believe it's evil. Now, again, not saying any names. What happens is when it comes to family, family is a tough one because um, if you're very well family oriented, which I mean, I am to a certain extent. Uh, however, I wish that, you know, certain circumstances or individuals were, you know, different. Uh, but the fact is they live their own lives and they have their own choices, you know, and their, their own lifestyles. So I myself believe if family attempts to redirect you in a way that goes against what your beliefs are, that's manipulation. And using the relationship that they have with you to sway you. Saying things like you're going to lose that connection okay, with an individual, which isn't even true. Uh, because the connection is always there, especially when it comes to uh, friends and family, right? So, it's, in a nutshell, an ultimatum. So, by you accepting that ultimatum, uh, you are then pushed to change the very nature of your life in order to pacify other people's beliefs. I don't like that. I don't. And again, this goes for, you know, the general public. I mean, if you if you go with the crowd, okay, then you are no better than the, the people that are trying to sway you. That's just how that works. Okay, you, you have to believe in what you believe to the point and so and so blatantly faithful that you're pretty much willing to die for you know your beliefs that goes for anybody that has beliefs you know Christianity Catholicism uh, paganism witchcraft Wicca uh, you know the cabal uh, Confucianism you know Taoism Taoism um, you know all these things and I mean, bruja, brujaria, you know, I mean, santero, santeria, you know, all, all these things, they, they have their own version of beliefs, right? And truths and, you know, doctrines and whatnot, right? Uh, you know, then these things have to be abided by or else you're not, you know, within that practice or religion. And, and the fact is, is that this is something that normal people don't discuss. But I'm a Scorpio. So... I like to push the envelope. Now, there has been times where self-love is negated. There's times where the haters are so many that they end up swaying those like one to three percent of you know, the, the people that usually wouldn't be swayed. So, 
what happens? Okay, so let's take the worst consequence. Um, in the family situation, uh, then your family uh, d disowns you or they, uh, they remove themselves from your life in some way, shape, or form. Um, but ultimately, what uh, they are doing is utilizing the same thing that traditionary religions are using in order for, uh, in order for them to control you, which is fear. Okay. Now, all in all, fear is based on an undesired approach, an undesired outcome or, you know, things like that. Now, now, I'm not to say that what I'm saying is right or wrong. I am saying that the time has come for, well, let's just say it like the Oracle would in the movie The Matrix, Love you, Keanu, and uh, Lawrence Fishburne, um, you're here to make up your own damn mind. Okay? So, are you going to allow outside external influences to affect the, some of the most important aspects of your life? Question mark. Your happiness. Your beliefs. You know your uh, your you know your routines of uh, of pleasure and, and feeling joyful. I mean, everybody deserves that, obviously. Um, but do you believe that you do? You know, that's one, that's one of the biggest questions. So everybody is worthy of things like wealth, love. Um, a fellowship, um, you know, respected value or honored value, uh, equal exchange, you know, based on, you know, personal perception. I mean, there's a lot of things that we have to look at. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this, or you, you know, you follow me or, you know, I'm your leader or I'm your guru, you know, or anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. What I am telling you right now is the fact that I'm giving you my own personal opinions based on my own personal experiences. The time is now, the time has come for human beings to wake up. I know a lot of people have, you know, started the awakening process, but we don't mean just wake up like waking up out of bed, okay, opening your eyes true in, in in that context awakening does mean opening up your eyes but it's not your physical eyes it's actually your spiritual you know your your eyes uh your third eye okay or even your oculus in a uh in a spiritual sense you know being able to see things being aware and and becoming <clears throat> excuse me and and becoming your true self now that true self is entirely up to you the, I am not here to tell you how to live what I am here to do is show you or someone okay that you don't necessarily have to allow external influences to affect you in such a way to where it totally makes your life do a 180 based on what, what other people believe in, okay, or what they think is real. I mean, I could believe in, I could believe that, you know, there's a, there's a golden unicorn, you know, up in the cosmos there that's looking down upon us and, you know, and, and shitting out rainbow energy, you know, just to make our lives, you know, pe peachy keen. But no, the, the fact, now, if I believe it, I believe it to the point where you are not going to sway me and... And that's that, you know, it's you believe it as much as you believe that you're breathing, okay, or that, you know, you, you're, you're a good person, or that you, you know, you're helping people, or, you know, any of these things. More times than most, I have not found it difficult, but
but I have found it challenging to actually even discuss awakening with someone who is here like you know and I always I know that a lot of individuals are talking about being being in the present okay which is fine you know being in the present being in the now moment you know is totally cool but it's not just that you actually have to prepare yourself before you're even in the now moment okay you have to prepare yourself before you're even in the now moment so what does that mean being ultra aware okay of what you're thinking about what vibrations are included with those thoughts and those feelings are they resonant you know do they resonate with you is are they positive or negative if you express them how, how would you like to present you know excuse me you know how would you like to present you know how you're feeling you know expression is like everything I mean that could be art that could be music that could be you know that could be speaking you know it could be dancing I mean it could be a lot of things okay I mean art goes everywhere but you got to love yourself I've heard so many people are lost why are you lost? Well, COVID's not. I mean, I got my own opinions about COVID, and I'm not. I'm not going getting into that. Okay. Sorry. Wear masks. Don't wear masks. It's your choice. You want. You want to continue allowing the world to go to hell in a handbasket? That's entirely up to you. It's still going to do it regardless whether you want to or not. All right, and that's that's how I feel. But it's your uh, it's your choice whether or not it's going to affect you directly. Now, self love. What is self love? Showing yourself respect. Doing the things that you enjoy. Listening to the music you love, no matter who's around. Act, doing activities that is going to create that energy, that vibration, that frequency of positivity and, you know, feeling good about yourself. I mean, that's really what it all boils down to. And I understand that people are going to say, well, some of this stuff, talk, you, you know, that, that Raven's speaking about is like, you know, self-gratification. Well, I mean, there is kind of like a thin line between self-love and self-gratification because... I mean, even feeling grateful, no, it's, that's different from, you know, self-gratification, of course, because self-gratification is very selfish in nature, okay? You're doing things just to make, you know, just to make yourself happy, okay? But, and that's where ego come, comes into play, but when you balance out self-love self-gratification selflessness selflessness okay doing things without asking for anything in return and just doing it because you actually enjoy doing it that's amazing okay it really really is and there has been I've seen it in front of me and I, even with this I know I wasn't going to discuss this COVID crap but um, I, you know, I even wear a mask just out of respect for other people because I may be in asymptomatic, okay? But, but here's, here's the, here's my truth. If you're not, if you're not allowing yourself or giving yourself permission to do the things that you enjoy or be who you really want to be and do what you really want to do, then what, you, what you're really doing is you're, you're catering to other people okay I'm not talking about service I'm not talking you know I'm not serving serving others isn't uh, you know isn't necessarily how, how can I say this I'm asking my higher self 
just FYI. Serving others doesn't mean that you have to pacify others. I mean, I actually, I, I read up on uh, the other day, um, there was, I was having a, a conversation with somebody and, uh, you know, another spiritual individual and they were talking about um, the Hayoka people. Okay, the Hayoka empaths. And I knew nothing about it, honestly. I, again, I lose sight and track sometimes about, you know, information. I should probably be doing, you know, digging like every day. But the thing is, is that the Hayoka actually create, and I don't necessarily think that it's, you know, it's totally negative chaos, but the Hayoka empaths they use you know humor sarcasm chaos you know things like that in order to help other people uh, you know wake up or heal so basically what they're doing is getting you know making getting aroused out of other people in order to activate internal healing in, in essence you know when you think about it so do I consider myself that? I mean, yeah, whatever. I mean, put that title all over my head. I'm, I'm not worried about it. But, I mean, I enjoy helping people. I enjoy uh, watching people grow. I enjoy seeing the changes, you know, from being negative and, uh, you know, living a self-sabotaging life to going into a life of more fluidity, of more self-love, um, you know, more... Conscious, you know, actual conscious choices and, and positive routine building. But uh, truthfully, everyone has to find, uh, you know, the kind of, kind of balance within chaos. I mean, some people don't necessarily have a whole lot of chaos going on in their life, and it doesn't mean that they're that they're happy or not. What that means is uh, there's a possibility of, uh, you know, contentualness or contentuality uh, where, you know, you're just settled in the space that you are, you're happy with where you are, and, you know, there's nothing, um, you know, nothing negative that's really affecting you. Or maybe you had that life to where you didn't have a whole lot of negative things, which is great, uh, but a majority of gifted people have had things happen to them. That's just the truth. Accidents, death, molestation, rape, bullying, violence. Very, I mean, horrible sometimes, horrible abuse. Okay? And we have to find strength, you know, within those experiences. Now, I know some of, these, some of this stuff is a touchy subject, which is totally fine. Um, at least to me, you know, it doesn't have to be okay with you, but um, my truth is that happiness can always be created unless you're just giving up. So what does that mean to you or to, to anybody for that fact? You have to choose a life that makes or creates happiness and joy for you and possibly other people. Okay? Now, again, it's this doesn't have to do with anything. Haters are gonna haters are gonna continue to hate. They're just gonna continue to hate. That's that's just their that's their MO. That's their you know their function is to attempt to railroad you into and manipulate you uh, into stopping whatever you are doing um, that is positively living in your life, okay? Haters are going to hate, okay? Um, 
again, if you believe in yourself and you believe in whatever it is that you are speaking about or whatever it is that you are doing, if you believe in it enough, nobody's going to sway you. No one. Not one person. Except for you. Okay? Except for yourself. And I do believe that gratitude, an attitude of gratitude, is exceptionally important. Gratitude creates happiness. Feeling grateful, being grateful, you know, being grateful for, you know, whatever it is that you have in life. Um, if you're not grateful for some of the things in your life, then maybe you need to reevaluate your life, okay? Um, you know, there are individuals that are waking up right now that are, they have, I guess, what's the best way to say it, that you know, they have people in their lives that do not believe in some of the things that you do. And uh, they will attempt to uh, sway you to believing in whatever they believe in. And that then you're conforming to their lifestyle. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't matter who loves me or who hates me. I'm not going to do it. I mean, your time is now. Your time is, you know, life is short. Now, what, what does Nike say? Um, Nike says, uh, life is short, just do it, or something like that. Um, I understand that that's, that could be motivation for some, and that could also be chaotic for others. But if you're just going to conform, then you might as well just stay, stay with the sheep, the sheeple, okay? What this world really needs is more catalysts, more, more guides, more, um, more awakened individuals to where they they can express themselves in such a way that it activates other people in a positive way you know in a, in a motivated way so how to stay grateful is also key attitude of gratitude man be happy for everything. Be happy that you got utilities. Be happy that you, you know, that you can pay your bills. Be happy that you have food in your house, you know, and uh, things like, you know, water to wash your body and, you know, uh, whatever electronics you might have or, you know, uh, whatever. You know, the car you have, the gas that's in the car, the, you know, the air that you breathe. The very people you know, that are around you too, but those people can at times change. Those people at time can change. The group of people that, you know, that like you, that don't like you, that, you know, that want to be around you, that don't, those, those could change. You know, once you start changing, your whole, your whole environment's going to change. Possibly. You start living your authentic self, your your authenticity, and people are just gonna, you know, some people are gonna drop off the face of the, you know, the face of your your world, um, and some are gonna stay. New ones are gonna show up. You just gotta be okay with that. Honestly, I know I am. I mean. If you actually allow yourself and give yourself the permission to change based on another person's opinions and ideologies, I'm sorry to say it, but you're, you're just a slave. You're a slave to others. And that's not really a life to live. I don't think so. And I've always been the, 
the one that is the leader instead of being led. Because I don't, I don't like being led. I really don't. That's why I don't, you know, I, well, there's reasons for everything, but, you know, neither here or there. I mean, again, the time has come, folks. What are we going to do as a collective What are we going to do in order to rise above a massive amount of individuals who don't even want, there's some people, man, there's some people that love you that don't even want you to succeed, you know, or don't appreciate you, or they do, and they're just there for convenience, or they're there just to get something out of you. I mean, the time has come, really. When is it your time? You could be 60, 70, 80 years old and still be conforming to other people's will. But why? Why? Why conform? to another person's ideology, like idea of reality and not create your own. Well, that seems a little off for me, off. I appreciate anybody who's actually watching this. I appreciate anyone who's willing to comment or even message me if you would like to uh, add any sort of additional subjects that you wish for me to discuss, whether it's controversial or not. What I'm also going to do, I know there's a description in here, in there, um, but I also have a website. I wanted to put this out there. Um, there's a couple of things I'm changing up right now and I wanted to make an announcement. There's a couple of things, and this, this goes for the show, this goes for, you know, working with me, it goes for a lot of different things. Uh, on my website, you get to sign up. I'm going to start using the very first front page um, email. I think it's an email and a phone number submission. I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. i got to take a look again. Um, Email would be fine. I mean, but a lot of people don't even read their email anymore, but they do read texts. Um, which, again, I'm not selling your phone numbers or anything. I mean, I don't even know where I would even start to do that. That's not even, you know, not even a thought in my mind. But um, you guys can sign up free. There's no cost to it. And I am going to start creating um, a couple of things. And this is going to be ongoing, so I'll see what happens with it. Um, I will be doing still the show, obviously. Uh, that's going to continue going, uh, no matter who, who says what. Um, the healings on Sundays are still going to happen. But uh, the things about you know working with me, I got a couple of changes. Uh, when it comes to the services due to recent events. I'm also acknowledging to you right here and right now uh, that the horoscopes, uh, yes, the channel horoscopes uh, monthly is going to now be reactivated. I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'm going to be working on those on my days off. Uh, you know, Monday through Wednesday. going to hopefully get those done like expeditiously in one day. So I can, you know, post and I can send you guys an email or a text uh, that says that it's available. Here it is. You know, take a look. You can sign up for it. Um, I'm going to be doing a newsletter, which also includes a lot of information. Um, and I've, uh, ho I may or may not be collabing with, you know, with one person or more, uh, you know, to get some of this information out to you, as well as, you know, times and uh, events and 
things like that. You know, like the um, the group, this private group uh, video healing stuff. Um, I would also like to be sending you guys updates, and you know, and that's going to be uh, frequent to infrequent. I mean, it all depends on how many times I do them. Okay. Um, the other things is that. Because of recent events, I have chosen to to do something specific, and uh, you know, whoever watches this or listens to this or whatever the case may be, um, when it comes to my readings and other stuff, um, that there has been, and I'm going to announce this, uh, there has been a $25 fee. It's even in my disclaimer. I mean, no, there's no arguments about that. You know, I reread my terms and conditions. It is there uh, in my, you know, in my disclaimer. And the the offer is this: is that if you are we're not if you're one that does not confirm your appointment an hour, you know, at least an hour uh, before your appointment, uh, that fee does. Uh, is active at that point and uh, you can actually you could pay that um, at that time and we can still continue your whatever time is left over uh, for your appointment uh, we can either do that or we or we can just reschedule your appointment uh, to another day okay even even during that week all right depending on what's going on um, that's I guess that's only fair uh, to a lot of people I'm hoping you guys like that Hope it works for you. I've had a couple of, you know, conversations with individuals that, you know, either went one way or another. So I'm just putting it out there. Um, but if you would like to sign up uh, for the newsletter, the updates, you know, stuff like that, discount, you know, the discounts that come around and things like that, I will be posting a uh, on my profile as well as on this video. I will be posting a link to my website so you guys can actually sign up. There's been quite a few signups over the last you know few months. I like to see more of that, but I have to create more content in order for like the newsletter, you know, which is I don't know how many pages it's going to be, probably just a few uh, for the updates as well as you know um, some other important information, not necessarily about me, but things like uh, the frequencies, the resonance, the you know the planetary alignments and a bunch of other things that you know that I think is very uh, very important to uh, a lot of other people all right so I waited to do this up until the end uh, because I just wanted to make that announcement I appreciate whoever's you know watch this and listen to this all the way to the end um, I do appreciate all of you you know your support your communication your orders um, you know your sharing and everything else I really really do and I look forward to uh, building this whole thing into something that I would even consider as greatness um, that would be a beautiful thing it really would so um, and, you know up until next time uh, you know again you know uh, blessings to you all love and light namaste uh, be humble be blessed live in the vibration of love and uh, take care of each other. And, um, you know, if you need me, you know where to find me. All right? So until next time, folks, this is the Raven's Den Radio Show. A high-frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak.